Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a HP laptop which has a problem with the Wi-Fi signal. Um, despite the fact that the Wi-Fi card is working properly, it's connecting to my Wi-Fi network and my client's network. The Wi-Fi signal is very low. So let me show you with my mobile phone. If you can see here, the Wi-Fi signal is very very low and if we see the networks here you see there's only one line and the Wi-Fi router is in two meters distance from the laptop so this signal should be full five uh, you know lines signal and all the other networks are really low so probably we have a problem with the antenna of the laptop so I will what I will do is I will try to disassemble the laptop and to check the antenna cables inside here on the screen to see if there is any problem with uh, any the cables are okay also I will check the card if the the cables the clips have unclipped it from the card and uh, unless there is a problem with the Wi-Fi card itself. So we, we will continue after the disassembly of the laptop. I just opened the laptop and I can see the Wi-Fi card here and the cable, the antenna cable is coming from the left hinge of the monitor. The cable is this one and it's attached. Okay, there's no problem. Let me show you with the microscope. you can see here the cable is okay let's untouch the cable unplug it and check it on the other side there's no problem doesn't seem any problem here and this connector seems okay this cable also seems okay, unless there is... No, I can see the inside core of the cable coming here, but there's no way we can check this. We have to cut the cable in order to see if there is a connection uh, w between the core and the middle point here. So we assume that the cable is okay. So we will connect back the cable to the connector this is called UFL connector and uh, we'll uh, turn on the laptop and check if there was uh, I don't know static something uh, dust I will uh, clean it with some uh, isopropyl alcohol this one and I will check again the laptop okay I'll be back again in a few seconds I checked the signal after the cleaning of the UFL connector and it's the same. I can see no reason of this cable to have any problem or disconnected from the ante antenna itself. I have to open up the monitor to check the cable inside. I will do it, but it's easier for me just to replace the Wi-Fi card with another one and see if the problem is resolved. So I will remove this Wi-Fi card and I put a new one and we will continue from there if the problem persists with the new Wi-Fi card then there is definitely a problem with the antenna cable inside the monitor somewhere is detached or the cable has been cut inside we have to find out so let's put this Wi-Fi card this is a different model. We might have a problem. Uh, some laptops have a BIOS um, thing that does not allow different uh, hardware to be installed on the on the motherboard. But this was this used to be an old uh, tactic. Let's see if this is going to work. 
So we connected the cable to the main connector, which is marked with a black ar with a black arrow. So this is the correct position. So let's put back together the palm rest. Connect the power button. Connect the touchpad. Connect the keyboard so we can type the password of the laptop. And I'll be back once the Windows has been started to show you. Alright, I'm back. I just replaced the original uh, Wi-Fi card, which is a Realtek model, with another one. And uh, let's check on this computer now. Let's check the signal. If you see here, the signal is full. Now, five lines. Before it was only one line. So, finally it was a problem of the white card itself not a problem with the cable the antenna cable so the the conclusion is that uh, even uh, if it seems that it's an antenna problem sometimes it's the Wi-Fi card itself that causes the trouble so you have to replace the Wi-Fi card it's not a common problem it's a rare problem the Wi-Fi card to fail but it can happen. So that was the purpose of the video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.